Hi friends, welcome to my channel Max Zodiac Pro. In this section, now we are going to learn what is statistics and the usage of statistics in our daily life and different type of charts. Okay, first one, what is a statistics? Statistics is a method of conducting a study about a particular topic by collecting, organizing, interpreting and finally presenting the data. What are the importance of a statistics means? The statistical knowledge help to use the proper method to collect the data and employ the collect the analysis and effectively present in the result. Statistics is a crucial process behind how we make a discoveries in science and make decision based on data. Usage of statistics in our daily life. Government agencies. Government statistics means a factual information that is reported upon for statistical purpose by a unit of government. Statistical purpose include description, evaluation, analysis, inference and research. For this purpose, a statistical agency may collect data from individual establishment or other organizations directly or it may obtain data from administrative records. Statistical agencies provide accurate, timely and credible information which informs current and future policies. Government statistics are collected through a census and survey and from administrative record and other sources like for example income tax department and NIA national investigation agency and state bank of india etc and next one is science and medicine statistics refer to both quantitative data and the classification of such data in with probability theory and the application to them of methods such as hypothesis testing and health statistics includes both empirical data and estimate related to health and medical. Next one is education. Indian literacy rate is at 74.0 percentage and God's own country Kerala has achieved a literacy rate of 93.91 percentage and Bihar is the least literate state in India with a literacy of 63.82 percentage. Next one is company. Statistics can be used for making sales projections and financial analysis of capital expenditure projects and constructing profit projection for a new product setting up project product sorry setting up production quantities and making a sampling analysis to determine the quality of a product so we have uh, a lot of companies in india stata and hp Maruti Suzuki, Micromax, Intex, Lava, and Reliance Industries Limited, and Airtel, Vodafone, Idea, Geo, etc. Next one is important type of chart: bar chart, pie chart, histogram, pictogram, line graph, etc. First one is pie chart. Pie chart is also called a circle graph or pie graph. It makes use of sector in a circle. And the angle of sector is proportional to the frequency of data. A pie chart is a good way of displaying the data. Angle of sector formula is frequency of the data divided by total frequency into 360 degree. Next one is pictogram. Pictogram or pictograph represent the frequency of data as a picture or symbols. 
each picture or symbol may represent one or more unit of a data. Next one is histogram. Histogram is a graphical representation that is helpful to display the data in more user friendly format. Uses of histogram. It helps in comparing process within specified limit and it summarizes the large data and it assists a decision making. Next one is bar chart. A bar graph is used either horizontal or vertical bar to show the comparisons between the categories. Advantage of bar chart. It shows each data category in a frequency distribution and display relative numbers or proportional of multiple categories. It summarizes a large data set in a visual form. It be easily understood due to widespread use in business and the media. Next one is line graph. Line graph is also called a line chart is a type of chart used to visualize the value of something over time. For example, in a finance department may plot the change in the amount of cash the company has on hand over the time. The line graph consists of horizontal x-axis and vertical y-axis. Thank you friends, uh, thank you for watching the video.